Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna to look at Sharpshooter from Jonathan Wooten and Sands Minds Creative Labs. What is this? This is a, well, it's a card trick. It's a card trick. Uh, you have a deck of cards, card is selected, the card is signed. Okay, no duplicates, the card is signed, lost back in the deck. Uh, you can place the deck down on the table or on the ground even uh, and show that you don't have any funny breaks or anything. And then you involve your spectator in the magic. You say, hey, you know what? I'm not gonna find your card, you're gonna find your card. And uh, you can wrap a rubber band around the deck, extended on your spectator's fingers, and when they let go, that rubber band is gonna zoom into the deck, latch itself around the spectator's card, cut the deck right to their card, they can turn their own card over and see that it's exactly their same signed card. Wow! Let's get into this review. All right, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what's in the box? Um, it's a DVD, right? It's a DVD, uh, it's a thin line DVD jewel case. Inside that is the DVD. DVD is roughly 15 minutes long. Uh, will I need more stuff? You will need more stuff. You're gonna need a deck of cards, okay? You're gonna need a deck of cards and a little bit of time because there is some DIY involved, and we'll get into that. So I watched the trailer and uh, you know you always try to guess, well, what, what, what do you think it is? Uh, so did I, did I guess the answer? Uh, no, I did not guess the answer. This is not something that I was able to figure out before I got it in the mail uh, and I was pleasantly surprised. How are the angles on this? The angles are great on this actually. Every, the deck's face down and your hands off. So in the end, there's nothing left. I mean, there's no angles. I mean, even if you were uh, yeah, there's just, there's no angles to this at all. It's perfect. Can it be inspected? Uh, mostly, mostly. Uh, there is some, there are some gaffes involved. Okay, there are some gaffes, and you want to keep your spectators away from that. Um, I'm gonna say let's let's not hand the entire deck out. I think in order to do uh, a deck handout or to go into another magic trick, you would need to do some sort of deck switch. We'll get into that too. All right. So how's the DVD? What's the overall quality and production value? of it. Sands Minds always makes great DVDs. You got Super Dave, he's there in the Sands Minds lab. He's gonna teach you everything you need to know. Uh, he's gonna st start off by telling you that there's some DIY, okay? You're gonna need your own deck of cards. You're gonna ruin a deck of cards. You are gonna ruin a deck of cards, okay? So you're really not gonna be able to use this deck for anything else, probably not. You'll also need size 19 rubber bands. Size 19 rubber bands to do this effect. As far as what he's gonna teach you on this, of course, uh, he's gonna teach you the gimmick construction. And it's not hard, it's not hard at all. Uh, but you, like I said, you will ruin the deck, but it will work with any deck. So if you wanna do this with another deck of cards, you can do it with any deck of cards you want. There's no limitations there. He's gonna walk through the initial uh, trick, of course, teach you the presentation and teach you the cleanup. He's gonna go through some optional uh, items at the end, especially uh, concerning how to maybe switch out the deck for a different one. Is it well made? You make it, right? You make it. So it's gonna be as well made as you make it. How much practice does it require? Uh, it's practically self-working. This is practically self-working. I would say the only thing going into this, and they don't really teach you this so much as you kind of just observe it happening, but you should probably be comfortable doing an overhand shuffle and then being able to control a card either to the top or to the bottom of the deck using an overhand shuffle. I think if you can do that, if you're good with that, then you're good to go. How much setup and reset is there? This is a deck stack. It is a deck stack, and you will have to get the deck back into deck stack, but it's not difficult at all. Positives, all right, so what are the positives to Sharpshooter? Uh, Sharpshooter is easy to build and wonderfully creative. This is a great opportunity for your spectators to get involved in the magic. Negatives, all right, so what are the negatives? You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Um, these aren't really negatives, okay? These aren't really negatives, but I didn't know where else to put this, so I'm putting this in the negative section. Sorry, Sans Minds. Sorry, Jonathan Wooten. Uh, but this is where I'm putting it. So like I said at the beginning, uh, this is kind of a one-hit wonder. You can't really do another trick with this deck once you wreck it, okay? So that would, be the, that would be one negative, right? That you can't use this deck for anything else and you can't hand the deck out for inspection. In the video they suggest, to do a deck switch and to do a deck switch easily, uh, obviously you have to use a rubber band to do this effect. So you just 
Don't use a tuck case, okay? You just have your stack of 52 cards, wrap a rubber band around it, stick it in your pocket, and you're good to go. And I would agree. Uh, you can load yourself up that way, and you're set. If you want to continue doing card tricks, let's say you're a walk-around magician or you're a strolling magician, you, you probably don't need a tuck case anyway. Probably don't, okay? So have a duplicate deck of cards in your other pocket that you can ring in later that's also set up the same way with a singular rubber band wrapped around it. You'll be able to do your switch in between two of the tricks, no problem. That said, that said, let me just help you out with the DIY. If you're gonna go there and you're gonna do it that way, then let me just help you out. I think every magician has a stack of extra cards lying around the house. I do. I've got a box full of extra cards, like red, blue, gimmicked, not gimmicked, whatever, right? Just a whole slew of cards. Add cards, jokers, whatever. I figured out that I could just go and find 52 of those random cards. As long as the back designs are all the same, it really doesn't matter. It's not a full deck. I've got a lot of dupes in there. Uh, I even got a couple of short cards in there and whatnot, okay? Uh, I'm just gonna use that. I'm just gonna use that. I'm gonna make my gimmick using that pile of extras, and I'm just gonna use these old extra cards as my deck. Because, I mean, you could do a fan, show all the cards different, because they are, and no one's gonna see that you have two six of clubs or two nine of spades or anything like that, right? Have your card selected, they can pull it out, they can sign it, you don't care if they sign it. These are your extra cards. These are the cards you were gonna throw away anyway, okay? And then it's, when it's returned, you can do your trick, you can lay the deck down on the table or the ground and you don't care about these cards. The rubber band can snap around them. You don't care if the cards get a little jostled or you know in the street. And then occasionally you just keep going back to your junk box that's filled with extra cards and you fill the deck back up with the cards that you lost that were signed uh, throughout your week. I think this would be easy to build just with the leftover cards that you have lying around the house. Is it worth your money? It's only 20 bucks. It's 20 bucks, it's gonna cost you the DVD, a bag of rubber bands, and a deck of cards, and you're golden. Who would like this? I think this plays great for walk around, street magic especially. This is a great way to get those people involved in your magic, get them down there on the ground at your level, uh, watch the cards spill out all over the street, it's fun. I think it's a laugh out loud, funny, but also like what the heck just happened type of effect. It's a mix of emotions going off, your spectators will love it, it's easy for for you to do great trick all right so that's pretty much everything i can say about sharpshooter from jonathan wooten sans minds creative labs i want to thank murphy's magic supplies for allowing me to have this so that i could do the review for you and if you would like to purchase it for yourself you can find it at your very favorite murphy's magic retailer thanks bye